Thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes across New South Wales and Australia as heavy rains continue to batter the east coast of the country, causing severe flooding. Torrential downpours have caused rivers and dams to overflow around Sydney and it's forecast that the rains will last for several more days. Shaima Khalil reports. This is what days of relentless downpour looks like. A deluge not seen in five decades here in New South Wales. Emergency services have been inundated with nearly 10,000 calls and have conducted more than 500 rescues so far. And this is what they're up against. Water so high and forceful, a three-bedroom cottage was seen floating through. That's it, you got him. Crews have also been called in to get stranded cattle to safety. In the town of Windsor, northwest of Sydney, residents are used to floods this time of year. But nothing like this. It's very shocking because I haven't seen it like this before. In 1990 was the last time that I remember having a really big flood. It's hard to tell. This is the newly built Windsor Bridge. It's barely a year old and was meant to withstand heavy flooding. This is how swollen the Hawkesbury River got. You can hardly make out the Windsor Bridge. And with more rain forecast over the next few days, things are set to get much worse before they get better. Thousands of families have already evacuated with many more ready to go. For days now, the Wassons have been on high alert. They tell me they hardly slept in the past 24 hours as they watch the waters inch ever closer to their property and submerged the whole of their back garden. It's normally completely green and uh, slopes down to a dam, um, but now it's completely inundated. And in, in the distance, we can just see farmland, um, but now we just see water. So. It's not the first natural disaster to hit these areas in the past year. Some communities who were battered by the bushfires are now being battered by the floods, um, a deep drought prior to that. And I don't know any time in our state's history when we've had these extreme weather conditions. Many families will spend the night in evacuation centres. And with the rainfall showing no sign of letting up, there is no telling when they'll be able to get back to their homes. Shaima Khalil, BBC News, Windsor, New South Wales.